we're just on our way to Gas Street St Luke's, which is where all of Love Your Neighbour is run from. Love Your Neighbour was set up in 2020 as an emergency um, food support for people in our local community within our city. And since then, we've managed to develop it into multiple streams and avenues of support for people all over our city. And we're just heading to show you a little bit of what that looks like day to day. So Wednesday is our food bank day. This is where the food comes in and it goes out. We get a delivery from an organisation called Commercia. They deliver all our food that we then use to stock the shelves, the shop, that then gets delivered out to the community throughout the week. So all of our food um, parcels get delivered by incredible volunteer drivers who come every Wednesday, they collect the parcels and they distribute them to different addresses um, in our local area. However, we are desperate for drivers, so if you're up for giving a couple of hours on a Wednesday, we'd massively appreciate your help. So all of these food deliveries enable people who struggle with access outside of their homes or maybe are in crisis or for some reason or other can't make it to the shop. It enables them to receive enough food to support um, a family for a week. So this is our storeroom where we store um, all of our food. So these are our um, standard food delivery bags that are full of things from cereal, tea bags, beans, soup. Um, and they get given to families across the city every Wednesday. I volunteer each Wednesday. I just want to be part of something special, which I feel that it is, and it's all about, you know, giving to the local community, which I'm passionate about. Uh, I really enjoy volunteering because uh, it's a great bunch of people, and also it's really nice to feel part of the community. I am currently putting stuff away into the fridge. I came to the, to the church as a stranger really. I did not know anybody. And over the last four months since I started volunteering, the friendliness, the warmth that I have felt from every single person I've met within the church has been absolutely wonderful. Um, just here to help out the community um, and it's also good fun and it, I very much view what I do whether it's stacking shelves or carrying around groceries as my worship. The Bible tells us to love other people and then putting that into practice by giving up time, loving people, helping people who are struggling. He'll do anything for a treat. It's a great place to come and it's, uh, I, I really enjoy it it's, um, and, and it's thankful for the um, for the, for the food bank as well, it's a, it's, a, it's a great help, and the dog loves coming down <laughs> yeah. here as well. I always say to him, come on, we're going to go and see Millie, and he loves it. <laughs> I'm just ringing to thank you for the beautiful food that you sent me. You don't realise how important your work is. Thank you because now I received the food parcel. I really want to say a huge thank you very much for uh, support and help me. Well, we're just so touched, so kind, so welcoming. It's so lovely to have a warm voice on the other end of the phone. I'm just so grateful. God bless you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, Zhao and I met, it would have been, what, two years ago now. So, when we started the, the Love Your Neighbour food bank, Zhao was, Zhao was shielding, so he has motor neuron disease. So, he was shielding at the time, wasn't able to go out to the shops. But yeah, from that point, we've, we've always connected over mainly football, but we've spoken about everything, really, don't we? Everything in life. Everything Arsenal. So, Zhao doesn't like to admit it, but he's an Arsenal fan now. Yeah, I do, I do, I do love Arsenal. How did the how did the food bank help you? Yeah, it did. It did help me a lot. I was talking and I could not go out. Some of the day I could not go out of bed. Even even if I don't see Ryan, I used to text text him to say well, how my day going and use to give me a lot of support. Yeah, sort of, I was doing deliveries and helping out at Love Your Neighbour 
anyhow, um, I sort of picked up with with Zhao and you know chatting, keeping in touch. You know, if you needed help with anything, then you know prescription picking up, the medication. For the for the body in my life, so love you, I love you, <laughs> love you guys, I love, love you too, mate. I do love, love you too. You. You're a good guy. I can I cannot I cannot be tired to say how grateful you are, guy. Without you, I don't know where I would be. So every Wednesday lunchtime at Colmore Coffee, we host a community lunch. Anyone and everyone is welcome. So if you're free on a Wednesday lunchtime and want some good food, get on down, meet some people from the community. So we're just heading now to meet a local member of our community and to drop off some food. This is the bit where you get a workout. I one of the Thai blocks has like 29 falls. Okay! I guess Hello, how are you? So this is Keith and this is Wendy. And they've been, how long have you lived here? You've been part of the community for how long? Well, I. I I lived here for five years, but I've been out of that church for 25 years. 25 years! And I'm the internet at that church. I oh, know, and now Keith is one of our incredible volunteers and he helps every week. So Keith, like, why, why do you help? What do you love about it? It's so all good for me, because since I had my heart attack over oh, three years ago, that church has been a really good thing to me, basically. Yeah. And that has helped me out a lot. It gives me more courage to meet people. We need to get the community back together again. Um, if I was in trouble or wanted some help, I would go over to church. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're very good. One of the best things that we see through Love Your Neighbour are people that initially start coming to us for support, for advice, um, for food provision, that end up loving the community so much that they just can't help but get involved. And like that is our absolute dream, that more and more people will be able to come in, that they wouldn't just come in, but they would just long to be a part of all that is going on within Love Your Neighbour. It's Thursday and as you can see this place is full of people from all over the city that have travelled in for the community shop. So this is where it all happens. So this is where people they'll come, they'll pay £3 and for £3 they'll get the weekly shop, they get fruit, veg, meat, fish. And it just sees us through the week and um, the staff are lovely as well, they're amazing. Yeah, we all, everybody loves me, Lee. <laughs> you know, we come early and we have a free cups of tea and coffee and sit and have a chat. Everybody's just so nice and we're all struggling in life now, different things. And um, to come here and um, be able to get some food, I love it, Ayad. You're like a mother to everyone. <laughs> I like to come here to help. I feel it's like my family. The beauty comes from the people. It's, it's just a building. It's the people that is bringing out the, the feeling of welcoming or making people important, you know? And this is what it is. It was very, very nice place really to come to. I love the companionship and the staff are absolutely golden to all of us. And it's just amazing. You can make people smile. I think lots of people make me smile. I feel very care and very special here. Made a lot. Jay? Yes. You maybe. come here every week? Yes. Why do you come here every week? Because I love the atmosphere, I love the people, the staff, and to be honest, I love the coffee. So it's, no, it's lovely, gets me out of the house and I get to see the people who share the community with. I love coming here, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Even if you haven't got much, you can st they're not going to leave you hungry, you can st st still be fed and watered and dried. And it's, a, it's wonderful for the community. Right now, the way the things are going, really, the situation, people just can't eat. The gas and electric, everything has got, just gone up. And you're doing an amazing job. Keep on a good job. God will bless you. Honestly, the community shop is the highlight of my week. Just a way of blessing so many people, relieving that weight of financial pressure of a weekly shop. The amount of joy that that brings to people is just so, so worth it. We also have Colmore Coffee open Monday to Saturday, half eight till half four. Bring your friends, bring the kids, because we also have Bright Play, which is a soft play space for parents, carers, families to bring the children. Another one of our streams out of Love Your Neighbour is youth work. And so we're just heading to the local high school now. 
we feel so, so passionate about meeting with and drawing alongside young people in our local community. So every week we head into local high schools across the city to mentor young people. It's just so cool to be able to journey with them, support them and encourage them. We also have Bright Music, which are fun, sensory music lessons for families and carers to bring their children between the ages of 0 and 6 to engage with music and creativity in a super accessible way. Reaching families with children is such a key part of what we do at Love Your Neighbour. Throughout the week we have a number of streams that enable us to do this through Kids Matter, Stay and Play and Safe Families. I really found it is very helpful, actually it should have been um, uh, kids care, no mother care too, because they really cares about mothers. I learned a lot, I met the mothers who has more experience than me, they have a life experience and I learned a lot. You're not alone, you can find here friends, there's many different cultures they can speak in different cultures and you learn and then you know that uh, you are part of them, they make you so warm and welcome. I love this community. We're here at Stay and Play and our heart for Stay and Play is to connect with people in this community for them to know more of who Jesus is. And this morning we've had about 40 families from all over the community come. Um, we've been able to play together, sing songs and do a bit of a story from the Bible. And actually what's been amazing this term is seeing how people who come along to Stay and Play have started to come in either to church on a Sunday or to some of our family fun days that we've been running. We started during Covid and it was a very difficult time so it was a nice safe place for them to come, um, see other children, play with other children. It's also a nice space for me to speak to other mums. From Stay and Play we um, then learned that um, church and kids church also is on a Sunday morning at 9.30. Um, so myself and my children now attend St Luke's uh, Gastery. It's brilliant, it's fun for the children, it's a great way for them to learn about God and getting to know Jesus. We absolutely love it, don't we? Yes? Initially during the lockdown I felt really, really low. I had no one because my husband's been work, stuck with work and it's just me and my baby. Stay and play, it's been like more of well-being support to me. And I met lots of my new, new friends. My son has special needs, so um, currently we this is the only interaction that kind of he gets during the week with other children and we found it really useful to bring him here, to get him to interact with other children, um, play games with other children and that's really um, brought him out of his shell. We are so passionate about working with everyone in our community from the youngest to the oldest and we are able to do that through Truth Be Told who take toddlers into elderly care homes across the city where they are able to connect, engage and share the love of Jesus. Another one of our streams works with Christians Against Poverty in our debt centre and our job club. Hi Leanne. Hi Millie. So this is Leanne. Leanne runs our Christians Against Poverty Debt Centre. So Leanne, if you could just tell us a little bit about what you do with Christians Against Poverty. Absolutely Millie. So yes, Gastry Church has this amazing partnership with Christians Against Poverty um, who are an award-winning and free debt counselling service. And I'm sure all of us are feeling the pinch with the cost of gas going up and petrol and all of that. So what I do um, with the Cap Debt Centre is that we work with clients to get a clear understanding of their financial situation and then really journey with them to ensure that we can find a sustainable and practical route out of debt for them. Here at Gastry Church we want to see every person in our community be freed from the stress and strain of a manageable debt. And also there's a job club that runs That's here as right. well, can yeah, you absolutely. tell us a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, it's a job club, um, which so, so we run that and that is um, a course that helps people get back into work. So whether or not somebody has been unemployed for years or whether they've been out of work for six months or whether they want to gain employment, we can help them with writing their CVs, prepping them for job interviews. So if any Anybody is kind of wanting to think about that, we'd love to help them. Amazing, it's brilliant. It is such a privilege to be able to serve people in this local community week in, week out. And I think so often we think church is about coming together on a Sunday in a building. 
but this is church, this is family. There's regularly times where we've finished for the day, but people choose to come into the building because in their own words, they didn't know where else to go. They just want someone to listen to them or to talk with them or to pray with them. And for me personally, they are the most beautiful, precious moments within the week because everything we do here, the practical support we offer is so key, it's so pivotal to all that goes on. But those moments of friendship, of connection, of building community are just completely priceless. And it just enables us to love people so, so well. And that's what it's all about.